well, now you balance this one. Now, what are you going to do? Because now the deal is, well, if you're missing oxygens on this side. Well, of course, if you're missing oxygens on one side, you're going to create your own half reactions, right? So now, if you're going to create your own half reactions for this one, uh, what's going to make what? And what's going to make? There's only one element here. Yeah, you know what? Here's the thing. There's one element here, chlorine, that's actually going to undergo, if you look at it, that's a zero and a minus one. It's under, going to undergo reduction. But because oxygen is minus two over here, and the chlorine has to be here plus five, the chlorine as an element is going to undergo both reduction and oxidation. What? Well, it's not the same molecule doing it. Some of the molecules are undergoing oxidation and some are undergoing reduction. And that's called disproportionation. Wow. Or auto-oxidation, self-oxidation. So the deal is, when you see that, you still just balance you know, by, by creating two half reactions. Uh, that, that, that's pretty obvious as to uh, that you need to do that here, right? Um, just remember that the same element undergoing both oxidation and reduction is called auto-oxidation. Auto-oxidation or disproportionation. All right, so the Cl2 is going to make the Cl negative, and the Cl2 is also going to make ClO3 negative. So let's build two half reactions here. Uh, you've got two Cl's. You're going to have to put a two there. Two negatives here. You're going to have to put two electrons here. Half reaction, balanced, reduction. Okay, what's going to happen here? Two Cl's here, two here. You need oxygens over here, so you need to add water. How many? Two times three is six, so you're gonna to have to put a six here. But you now you got 12 hydrogens here. Well, then go put 12 hydrogens here, but 12 H positives. Now, you balance in terms of atoms, but not electrically. Zero total on this side. Here, two negatives and 12 positives. That means 10 positives on that side, but they gotta equal the zero over here. So you gotta add 10 electrons over here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you have your oxidation and your reduction half reaction. Multiply this one by five, right? And then that one's already got 10 electrons there, 10 electrons here, and you're gonna get six H2Os plus five times one plus one is six <laughs> Cl2s, and that's going to then make 10 Cl negatives plus 2 ClO3 negatives plus 12 H positives, the electrons canceling out. Now you look at that and you say, you got it, got it, teacher, got it. You know what, got to be careful of these because I'm trying to give you lots of them where you have to be careful, right? Well, you know what, 6, 6, 10, 2, 12 is really 3, 3, 5, 1, 6. You have to reduce that. Oh, can't you just leave that? As a matter of fact, just by by me leaving that. That is just wrong to do that. I can't just leave it. I have to change it. I have to show, and I gotta fix that. I have to show you that that is now the only correct thing that you can do is reduce it to lowest whole number ratios. But remember, sometimes if you have fractions, some teachers are quite nice about leaving those alone. I sure am, but some aren't, so fix them to the lowest whole number ratios.